My name is Miriam Murad. I am the director of the Precision Immunology Institute at Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York. And the focus of the institute is to really harness our understanding of the immune system to treat major human diseases. So precision is a very interesting word. We are going to try to identify therapies that are going to target the cause of the disease. The focus is not the organ that is damaged, it's not the cancer, it's what is leading to cancer. And we now understand that every disease entity encompasses many different biology. The idea is to identify the right target to the different type of biology that's causing the disease. That's precision medicine. Precision medicine is about changing the way we diagnose. We will never call a cancer lung cancer again. We will call it by its molecular type. There is two aspects to precision medicine. There is a diagnostic aspect where you can refine the diagnostics, and there is an aspect of identifying the right treatment for the right biology. Hawking is making the bet that we can use artificial intelligence and, and uh, in fact, computational science in general and the advances in computational biology to transform diagnostic and uh, identify new drug targets. And this is very aligned with uh, the focus of my institute. So I'm very excited to be uh, working with Okin and strategizing about how to, to move this forward. The interaction between industry and academia has I would say, never been so fruitful. You know, when I started in this field 20 years ago, we uh, were barely interacting. They will interact in clinical trial time, they will come with their drug, we will test it in our patients, but there was no interaction in terms of discovering drug targets together. Now this has changed dramatically. Industry is realizing that they need to learn from the patients. Right? So they cannot build a drug discovery program on their own. But they have to build a discovery program by learning about the disease as much as possible. So together, what we are doing is identifying patients that can be informative. Together, we are also developing new technology to generate those data set that we discussed, but they will bring the finances, they will bring the ability to scale, they will bring also their uh, expertise at so many levels of drug development or uh, 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 and chemistry and so on. And this is where it is going to be so fruitful. The ecosystem of research is, uh, is, is an extraordinary one. So, and uh, absolutely, Academic Center has a major role to play where this is where patients are being treated, this is where there's total freedom to, to discover. The biotech companies are those companies that continue to innovate, very focused on innovation, and this is where most of innovation is going to happen. And then pharma scale, you know, those uh, discoveries made in biotech and made in Academic Center. This uh, interaction, this ménage à trois, to me is the most exciting one. The one I have with Okin, for example, is not the same that I have with, let's say, Genentech, but they are all essential for my research. And, uh, and I have very different interaction with the, with, with, with the different group, but sometimes we, the three of us, uh, interact uh, together. The three meaning pharma, small biotech and academic center.